What should you do when you see this sign? A. Look for a train station ahead. B. Signal before going any further. C. Slow down and yield to trains. C. Slow down and yield to trains. A round sign means you are approaching a railroad crossing. This sign is posted a few hundred feet in front of the tracks and tells drivers to slow down, look, listen, and prepare to stop. You can drive off the road to pass another vehicle. A. If the vehicle ahead is turning left. B. If there are two or more lanes traveling in your direction. C. Under no circumstances. C. Under no circumstances. You may never drive off the paved or main traveled portion of the road and onto the shoulder to pass another vehicle. It is illegal for a person 21 years of age or older to drive with a minimum blood alcohol concentration, BAC, of A. 0.05%. B. 0.08%. C. 0.02%. You are driving behind a motorcycle and want to pass. You must. A. Stay in the right lane as much as possible because the motorcycle is small and doesn't use all of the lane. B. Blow your horn to make the motorcycle move onto the shoulder so that you can pass. C. Have your vehicle entirely in the left lane before and during the pass. C. Have your vehicle entirely in the left lane before and during the pass. When passing a motorcycle. Allow a full lane to the motorcycle. Never crowd into the same lane as the motorcycle. Returning to the original lane too soon can force a rider to swerve to the right and into traffic or off the road. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. No passing zone, signs tell drivers. A. To speed up slightly. B. That it is not safe to pass. C. To maintain a steady speed. B. That it is not safe to pass. If you come across a, no passing zone, sign, it is not legal to pass in the indicated area. You are likely driving in an area with restricted visibility where it would be unsafe to pass another vehicle. Just like alcohol and other drugs, drowsiness can a. help you to be a better driver b. make you feel better c. impair your judgment There is no crosswalk and you see a pedestrian crossing your lane ahead. You should A. Make eye contact with and then pass the pedestrian. B. Slow down as you pass the pedestrian. C. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing the street. C. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing the street. At an intersection where traffic is not controlled by traffic signal lights, Drivers are required to yield the right of way to pedestrians within any crosswalk, marked or unmarked. Even if there is no crosswalk, yield to the pedestrian. This sign means A. No U-turn. B. Traffic signal ahead. C. Railroad ahead. A. No U-turn. This sign indicates that U-turns are prohibited. This sign means A. All traffic must turn left. B. No left turn. C. No U-turn. B. No left turn. This sign means drivers cannot make a left turn.
It is unsafe and unlawful to make a left turn at an intersection where this sign is posted. This road sign means A. You must travel through the intersection at the posted speed limit. B. The maximum speed limit under ideal conditions is 55 miles per hour. C. You must not travel below the speed indicated. B. The maximum speed limit under ideal conditions is 55 miles per hour. Regulatory signs provide notice to road users of traffic laws that must be obeyed. This particular sign tells you the maximum speed limit for the stretch of highway where it is posted. You may drive more slowly than the posted speed limit, based on road conditions, but it is illegal to drive any faster than the posted speed limit. For new drivers between the ages of 16 and 18, an intermediate license will be restricted for at least a. 6 weeks b. 6 months c. 6 days b. 6 months A driver will be restricted for 6 months after the issuance of an intermediate license, or until their 16th birthday if they have already met the 6-month restriction requirement. During this time, the driver must be accompanied by a licensed driver who is 21 years old or older. Excessive speed. A. Saves time so you can get to your destination more quickly. B. Helps you maneuver around obstacles. C. Increases the likelihood of serious bodily injury and death. C. Increases the likelihood of serious bodily injury and death. Excessive speed is one of the most common contributing factors to vehicle crashes. Excessive speed does not save time and often leads to high-risk decision-making. How should drivers apply the gas pedal? A. Slowly and smoothly. B. As quickly as possible. C. By lightly tapping. A. Slowly and smoothly. The gas pedal should be pressed slowly and smoothly. Depressing the pedal too quickly can cause the vehicle's wheels to spin too fast or cause the vehicle to slide, especially if the pavement is wet. Which of the following blocks the smooth flow of traffic? A. Slowing down to look at collision scene. B. Avoiding unnecessary lane changes. C. Using public transportation instead of your vehicle. A. Slowing down to look at collision scene. Rubbernecking, the practice of slowing down to look at collisions or other out of the ordinary things, contributes to traffic congestion and should be avoided. This sign means A. Cars on the right move first. B. You have the right of way. C. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. C. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. When approaching this sign, you must yield the right of way. Slow down and let vehicles and pedestrians crossing your path pass before you proceed. If necessary, stop before going ahead. This sign means A. No passing zone. B. Slow moving vehicle. C. Two way traffic. A. No passing zone. A triangular yellow sign with black lettering indicates a no passing zone. It will appear on the left side of a two way, two lane roadway at the beginning of an area where prohibitive pavement markings are also used. A vehicle suddenly cuts in front of you, creating a hazard. What should you do first? A. Honk and step on the brake firmly. B.
Take your foot off the gas pedal. C. Swerve into the lane next to you. B. Take your foot off the gas pedal. If a vehicle merges in front of you too closely, take your foot off of the accelerator. This will create space between you and the vehicle ahead without requiring you to slam on your brakes or swerve into another lane. When entering an interstate highway, you should A. Stop, check for cars, and enter when safe. B. Check for cars and reduce your speed to 25 miles per hour before entering the traffic lane. C. Check for cars, increase your speed to match the flow of traffic, and merge when the way is clear. C. Check for cars, increase your speed to match the flow of traffic, and merge when the way is clear. Rather than stopping, as you would when entering other roads, you must use the merging or acceleration lane to speed up and smoothly merge with fast-moving traffic already on the interstate. Fines for moving traffic violations in work zones are a. Lessened b. Doubled c. Non-existent b. Doubled in Arkansas, fines for all moving traffic violations occurring in a highway work zone are doubled if workers are present and if warning signs alert drivers to the presence of roadwork. Work zone barriers, drums, cones, and signs are used to a. Make drivers angry about slow traffic. b. Inconvenience drivers. c. Keep traffic out of hazardous work zones. C. Keep traffic out of hazardous work zones. Work zones on highways have become increasingly dangerous places for both workers and drivers. When approaching a work zone, watch for materials such as cones, barrels, signs, large vehicles, and workers in brightly colored vests to warn you and direct you. This road sign means A. Watch for people crossing your path. B. No passing zone. C. Work zone ahead. C. Work zone ahead. This orange warning sign tells drivers that an area of roadwork is upcoming. When traveling through a work zone, stay alert for temporary traffic control devices. When turning left at an intersection, A. You should always yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. B. Oncoming traffic and pedestrians should yield to you. C. You should never yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. A. You should always yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. Drivers making left turns must yield to oncoming traffic that is traveling straight. Drivers must always yield to pedestrians. A driver who is age 21 or older. A. May talk on a handheld cell phone while driving. B. May text while driving. C. May never use a cell phone while driving. A. May talk on a handheld cell phone while driving. A driver who is age 21 or older may use a handheld cell phone to have a conversation while driving, but it is important to remember that it is never safe to drive while using a cell phone. It is against the law for drivers of any age to read or send text messages while driving. No zones, are areas around trucks where cars. A disappear into blind spots or are so close that they restrict the truck driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. b. Have sufficient space to travel behind the truck. c. Have several car lengths between their vehicle and the truck. a. 
disappear into blind spots or are so close that they restrict the truck driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. No zones, are areas around trucks or buses in which cars disappear into the larger vehicle's blind spots. No zones, can also be defined as areas in which cars are so close to the larger vehicle that they restrict the truck or bus driver's ability to stop and maneuver safely. A car being in a, no zone, greatly increases the potential for a crash. What does this road sign mean? A. Slow down and prepare to stop if cars are approaching you. B. Come to a full stop then proceed when it is safe to do so. C. Proceed carefully through the intersection, not always stopping. B. Come to a full stop then proceed when it is safe to do so. An octagonal sign always means stop. When approaching a stop sign, you must come to a complete stop at the marked stop line and proceed only when it is safe to do so. If there is no stop line, stop before the crosswalk. If there is no crosswalk, stop before the intersection at a point from which you can see any oncoming traffic.